So in the next verses, it says, So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. <clears throat> Period. Faith. Not the faith, but it's talking about faith. So it means the act of trusting. Why? For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. So we'll talk about this one. All of you who were baptized into Christ. Meaning water baptism? No. No, there's no water mentioned. That's belief. But it sounds like baptized, you know, we sign baptized, right? Is that the right sign to use here? So you have to think of another sign. So if, meaning water baptism, yes, then should... it be in the name of Jesus, yes, if it was water baptism. Same as Matthew, we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Or we baptize in the name of Jesus, like in Acts. There's different, there's a couple different scriptures. By baptism, it means that we've been clothed, right? <laughs> Sign. Instead of baptized, you know, making it seem like water, that it could be that Jesus has clothed us, that we're in him, that we're in Christ, that we're immersed in Christ. So the Holy Spirit has taken us into Christ. That is when we were baptized. You know, so we're trying to... Get away from the word water baptism. So when we're baptized or immersed fully into Christ. So it's interesting here where it says all of you who were baptized or immersed in Christ. Those that were baptized into Christ talking about the Holy Spirit's working and we're not talking about water baptism so if it said water baptism no it says we don't know that we know that all people who are water baptized themselves are saved no some people most people who have a full understanding of the gospel want to be water baptized. They want to obey and do water baptism as a witness to their faith. That's what they want. They want to show that. But all people who are baptized in water, are they truly saved? Is, it, is that what they mean? No. It says all people, talking about Israel. You remember it said all men had to be circumcised. So those who are saved, do they have to be circumcised? No. But God commanded that Israel men be circumcised to show the nation of Israel to be different than those around them. <coughs> not involved in the worldly things, not involved in worshiping idols. That's how they showed them to be different. I know it's a little deep comparing circumcision to the removal of, from the world. But that's for another class. So we know clearly that it says that all who are baptized are in Christ. We are saved. So all are true Christians. We're not talking about water baptism. If it was water baptism, of course it doesn't mean that all are saved. So what do you sign for baptized? That means baptized into Christ. 
are in Christ, immersed in Christ. So see this scripture here? It says, for don't you know, talking about, you know, since you're a Christian, don't you know that all of us who, all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized in his death? It says that we've died. Remember we discussed we died to the law. Why? Because we were in Christ. We died to sin. We died to the law. We therefore buried him through baptism. Not water baptism, no. People believe that. But it says all. Remember, all of us, all of us are in Christ. And we're baptized in his death and baptized and we're buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. So we will be resurrected to a new life spiritually. So we're not talking about water baptism. Water baptism is an act that shows a picture of it. This is the true thing. Water baptism is a picture or a symbol. So we take the Lord's Supper, right? So when we take it and we drink the wine and eat the bread, is that really the blood of Christ? Does that become bread or is it the blood? I mean, the body become the cracker? No, it's a picture. It's the same thing. Water baptism is a picture, a symbol of us being baptized into Christ. So we go back. So all of you who are baptized into Christ, we're talking the spiritual, that the Holy Spirit has put us into Christ. And that's how we have our sins forgiven. We're saved. We are in Christ. So in the name of Jesus, no, okay. So see here it says all of you, and in parentheses it says all of you were baptized in Christ. All of you have clothed yourself in Christ. Meaning that all who come to Jesus, trust Jesus, and he himself clothes us. So one more scripture verse here. Romans 13, 14. So there is neither I'm sorry, I missed that other scripture. 13, 14. So I'll sign it real quick. It says meaning that those sin, you, we clothe ourselves into Christ. One time, yes, we're clothed, but now, when we fall into sin, you know, we have to clothe ourselves in Christ. We realize that we depend on Him. And it's through Jesus' life. Continue. Is um, clothed in Christ the same as clothed in His righteousness? So now, points talking about Jew, Jewish, no, it's not. Gentile, no. It doesn't, regardless of rich, poor, young, old, African, American, it doesn't matter. All are one in Christ. It is neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for you all are one in Christ Jesus. So it's emphasized here that we're talking about Christ Jesus, not in the church, the Catholic Church. We are in the UPC. No. I've been baptized. No. I'm PCC at Pinedale. No. We're in Christ, regardless. One in Christ. So if you belong to Christ, talking about if you're saved, that we... 
we are his sheep, Jesus is our shepherd, then you are Abraham's seed. What does it mean, seed again? Before Jesus was a seed, talking about Jesus, but this scripture verse here is talking about seed in a different way, meaning us, the children. We, descendants, spiritual descendants from Abraham. Remember recently when we explained here that Christ led true Israel? That's us. True Israel. It's talking about a spiritual Israel. We are the children. Why? Because we belong to Jesus. We are Abraham's seed. Amen? Through the promise. Not through your works or what you deserve. You, If it was through your works, you would have been there. Only God himself, though, was there. And he made the promise that he would keep for eternity. That covenant is for those who believe. So, Galatians 3, 6, and 7, we're going back. So, also Abraham believed God, and it was credited as righteousness. Remember, that's the same as we've seen it in James and in Galatians and one more we saw it in in Romans. It says, understand then that those who have faith, not the faith, those that have faith are children of Abraham. Period. Amen.